the second half of this series on changing your standard darkroom booth templates to auto changing green screen templates. If you haven't already, please watch part one on how to convert them. I strongly recommend that you back up your original templates before you convert them. Uh, feel free to watch my video on backing up your templates. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily swap out your new background images since you've already done the hard part. The good news is now you don't have to resize and reposition the images every time you change them. And you can still use them as regular templates by just unchecking chroma key in each photo's properties. I want to point out that I have no connection to Darkroom Booth software whatsoever, so please follow the instructions carefully and proceed at your own risk. All right, so let's get started. When you open up Darkroom Booth, of course, it'll be in the main screen, which shows what's going to print out. And you want to make sure that you have your print size correct. In that case, it's a 2x6, and it's going to print twice and cut. All right, and if we go to choose, that'll show the selected template right there. So go ahead to the top menu here, click edit. And that brings it up here so we can get going on changing the images. All right, so we're going to do this in sequence just because it makes more sense. And go to the right side menu. You're going to see this one is selected already. This graphic here is actually the background with the cheesy 80s theme to it. But below that starts graphic 001, 2, 3, 4. And that's these guys in the background of the photos. 1, 2, 3, 4. So go ahead and click on 0001. Go down to the bottom toolbar and click Edit Item and browse for your replacement image let's say let's do this one and that's it go to graphic 2 edit item browse look for your next one open okay notice you don't have to do any resizing or positioning that was already done in the first part when you set up this template now you're just changing the background images to what you want in your booth and to match on your print so go to three same thing edit item browse will go for this one and then four edit item browse and we'll use that one and even if they're proportioned differently than these panes are, again, the program will take care of that and it'll resize, reposition them, and you're done with this. So go ahead to upper left and hit save. And then for the print screen, for some reason, you have to actually choose it again. So go ahead down to the bottom and hit choose. And there it is with your new images in it. But notice, if we go to screens, this doesn't match anymore. These images that are in the screens don't match the main anymore. So in the screens tab, it depends on the version you have, by the way, where you see this tab. You might see it across the top, or you might see it right in the middle like this. All right, so in the screens tab, we'll click edit. That brings this up right away to edit. You don't have to go into the big screen with all the all the different templates in it. All right, in the upper right, you see the one, two, three, four. This live view is going to cause you to have to change four additional images, but it, it's really easy to change these, as you can see, and it's going to resize these to the right size as well. Uh, it's important to note that you're going to see graphic four three two one up here and that's going to be the images behind the live view notice they're in reverse order in the live view it is very important that you keep them in order so that they show to the viewer in the booth the right sequence all right and then down below that below photo live view you're going to see again the same, same. images 
but watch these handles light up as you go down that shows you where they are so that's these guys here so there's really eight images you have to change if you're using a template that has a live view not all of them do you know and you don't have to uh, have a live view you can do it without where the program will auto change the backgrounds without a live view kind of does that anyway but in this case you've taken complete control because you converted these in the part one video alright so let's let's start with these side images and we'll go to this set of graphic 0001234 go down to the bottom edit item um, browse for your next one hit OK changes and we'll go to graphic 0002 edit item browse get that one you can see this is really quick after a while All right now that you've done these we'll have to do the same for the live view so get to the set of graphics up above live view and we'll go to we'll start with 0001 just because it makes sense get down to edit item so you want to get the same images that you used off to the right side okay and then 002 the downside is that you're not going to see them here except for the, the top one the first one so you just have to know which images you're choosing that's why it's very important to number your images so that you can just kind of second nature know which one is which and the last one is there's our four so edit item and I happen to know that's this one okay you're done so go ahead and hit save in the upper left and now your new images are here they're also in main you're ready to do a shoot so let's click the start booth and we'll do a session and you'll see it comes up right away with the number one image and your subject with the uh, image in the background as well now you'll have to forgive the quality I'm just using a green cloth with a little subject on my desktop but your quality is going to be just incredible when you use your booth with a real camera and a real green screen so with that in mind I'm gonna hit the space bar to get it started and it'll give the countdown you can throw your regular sounds and everything in the background as you go and you'll see the difference between this and the regular templates are you know your subject can pose in the live view as they're going because they're going to want to react differently to the different backgrounds you have and that's it this is going to match your print template that shows the right image in the right spot and I hope you found these videos helpful